So just uh, going off on a little tangent here, how do, how do um, you know, if, if you've got someone uh, working in an organisation, you know, every once in a while we all have like a bad hair day or whatever it might be, and, uh, you know, you chuck your toys out of the pram and have a little sulk and stomp and then come back and it's all okay. But how do you do that when you're the EA to, uh, to the big cheese, you know, the, the boss? How does that work? Yeah. You don't. <laughs> you don't have a bad day. You cannot allow yourself to have that moment, um, at least publicly. There may have been plenty of days I got into my car and maybe cried my eyes out or used a few curse words <laughs> as I was driving away. Um, but again, it's not about me. It's not about how I feel. It's not about how my feelings got hurt or about how I'm frustrated that somebody scolded me publicly. Um, it's all about the boss. And can I take that criticism to heart? Can I hear the essence of what they were talking about? Can I find a way to prevent that from ever happening again and really be a little more thick skinned about things? Um, I think a lot of people are looking to be insulted or hurt or handheld a little bit by the boss. I actually think that if the boss is willing to give you constructive criticism, it means they see you as somebody that they can trust, that they see as somebody who is hardy and willing to and able to withstand criticism and they trust you because that's what trusting relationships do is they have open dialogue and they're willing to say things that sometimes are hurtful in the moment but help you move forward in a more positive and stronger footing. And so especially if you're working for the top boss, you can't have yeah. even a bad hair day because you never know who's coming to the office. 